I'm Lizzie Foucune. I cover marketing data and analytics in advertising. That includes things like marketing dashboards, um, where we help clients identify kind of automated alternatives for um, things like Excel-based reporting or the ad hoc requests that they might take on a regular basis. Um, we talk a lot about how to hire and staff up your marketing analytics team. So what types of talent do you look for? Um, do you need a marketing analytics leader? And then a third area that we cover pretty frequently, or at least a hot topic, um, are customer data platforms. Um, so this is a newer technology that unifies marketers' first party data, creates a unified kind of profile of that data, um, ultimately helps you segment that data and then activate it using another platform. Um, and the promise of them is pretty alluring to marketers as they look to unify data from um, traditionally kind of technologies that would exist in multiple different places um, across their technology stack. We ultimately, in order to achieve competitive differentiation, um, have to come up with a better way to solve our messy data problem, um, a more automated way to solve this messy data problem, and then also a way that's just like marketing led. Um, so it uh, really brings it into the, the marketer's toolbox. It's something that might traditionally have been led by IT, and so suddenly it can be something um, that they're able to control. And so in, in a lot of those cases, um, you know, they don't necessarily come to us and say, we need a CDP just because the technology is so new. Um, and then there's the question that this technology might um, might have overlapping features with a bunch of related technologies that have existed for a lot longer. So I think that's probably the case in 70% of the situations. And then in the other 30% of the situations, I think it's the marketers that have um, heard about it from their peers, or they've read about it in industry periodicals, or um, they've seen it at a conference. And so the hype is just extreme right now. I think it's at the top of like the inflated expectations or the peak of inflated expectations on our hype cycle this year. And so as a result, it's just something people are so excited about. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of balancing um, the promise of a platform like this with the reality of what it can actually do, the technology in this kind of nascent state, and then what the marketer can actually do with it given their current um, capabilities and skill levels.